today in Photoshop we're going to briefly discuss image size. And it's such an important thing to take note of or to be aware of when we're creating images, let's say, to post on our photo gallery online versus one that I might want to print out in a publication. Size matters. It's really important. Now I'm not going to talk about physical file size in this example. I'm going to talk about the number of, let's say, essentially pixels a wide by the number of pixels tall an image that you're working on would be. So I have two images here. Um, both, as far as my screen is concerned, look approximately the same size. Um, but in actual fact, they're very different size images. Now how you can investigate this quickly is if you're on an image, down at the bottom of your screen there's a bar here, an info bar. Right now it's telling me the actual document size, like the physical file size. If I click and hold on that, I can actually get the width, the height, the, the color space that it's in, as well as the resolution, the number of pixels per inch. And I can visually see that now really quickly just by clicking and holding on that bar. If I go to a different file and I click and hold, I get, of course, get the information for that particular image that I'm viewing. So you can see that visually on my screen, these images might look comparable in size, actual, the amount of space occupying my screen. But if I click and hold, this one is approximately 4,000 pixels wide. This one is approximately 2,000 pixels wide. The only difference, of course, here is the resolution here is 300 pixels per inch, whereas the resolution of this photo was 72 pixels per inch. So this is information that I need to know about. Now, we've got the need to know, but what if I wanted to adjust it? What if I wanted to change the image size? So to do that in any image, you're going to go to your image menu. You're going to choose image size. It's going to pop up the image size dialog box. So let's say I wanted to post this on my website and make it in a more appropriate size for whatever I was posting it to. So let's say I'm putting it in a photo gallery and I'd like it to be you know, 800 pixels wide. So under the width here, I'm just going to change it to 800, but I want you to watch the height. As I change the width, the height automatically changed to make sure the proportion or the ratio between your width and your height stayed the same, essentially not to distort the image. If you didn't want that, if you actually wanted to change the size of the image without affecting let's say change the width of the image without affecting the height, you can uncheck this box here. It says constrained proportions. If you do that and you're talking about actual image, keep in mind you will your image is going to become distorted. So when I'm talking about an image I've taken, typically we're going to want to keep the proportions the same. So you have pixel dimensions and then you also have document size, uh, where here you have the resolution that could be changed. And we'll talk about resolution in another video. So let's say I go ahead and adjust this. I'd like this to be 800 pixels wide. I'm going to hit OK. It actually tells me some messages right here. It says uh, it was 27.4 megabytes. It's now going to be 103 megs, or 1.03 megs, I should say. I'm going to hit OK. It gets drastically smaller. Of course, that makes sense because it went from 4,000 to 800. If I do Control-0, it zooms back in. You can see visually on my screen, it looks very comparable. And that's because that image was so large, it might have been suitable for print, but not really suitable for post on the web. So image size is something really important that we need to be aware of. Uh, one last little thing you can kind of see when dealing with images. You can check your zoom. And I can see the zoom here is 22.3% of actual size. Over here, because I've resized it, it's now saying it's 70.3% of actual size. So this is actually kind of a good indicator when working with an image, how big it actually is, how it's the, the, the size uh, in relation to, let's say, what you're looking at on your screen.